Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today we're going to make this fun little hexagon shaped card and we're also going to be using the Jane Davenport mermaid markers to do our coloring today. So let's go ahead and get started. So for stamps today we're going to be using these three little chicks from this set as well as the flower and that little sprig as well. This set comes with the coordinating dies and it's called the Easter Chick Set. Now for paper, I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock. I've gone ahead and placed that in my mini Misty stamp positioner, and I'm going to ink that up with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Off camera, I stamped several more of the flowers and the little sprigs. I'll go ahead and stamp this a couple of times just to make sure I get a nice crisp image. Now to color these in, we're gonna be using these beautiful water-based markers from Jane Davenport. And these are called the Mermaid Markers. And you get a dozen of these in the set. We're gonna start with the Beach and the Pirate's Gold. And for blending, I'm gonna be using a water brush. This is a Tim Holtz uh, Detailer Tip water brush. So, to get these started, you just squeeze a little bit on your scrap paper and that'll get the ink flowing. So if it gets a little dry, just squeeze the barrel of the marker and release a little bit more of that ink. You do wanna test it on your scrap paper before you go to your image. And if there's a little too much flow, you can always just dab it off on a paper towel. I'm gonna grab this starfish color as well. I'll scribble a little bit on my acrylic block and just dab off a lot of the excess. I just need a little tiny bit here for the cheeks. And then I'll just blend that out with the water brush. Now if you get a little too much water there, you can just dab that off with a paper towel and continue blending. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. Now you could certainly blend with the markers themselves. So you could blend with that lighter beach color. I just found it a little bit more, I had a little more control with the water brush. And you could also just use a paintbrush with water on it if you feel like you have even more control with that as well. So again, I'm gonna add that lightest color that beach color and then come in with the pirate's gold and just add my shadows. And again, these are water-based pens. They're much wetter, I would say, than a Zig marker because I normally work with the Zigs. This is just got a little bit more ink, a little bit more flow to it. So again, you do wanna be a little more careful in making sure that you don't get too much ink. So I'm going to continue adding some shadows here. And of course you could just add the color by just scribbling it on an acrylic block and then picking up that color and coloring in your images, kind of like you saw me do with the cheeks there. And I've added a little bit of the coral color to add a little shading to the chick's feet. And then I'll add a little bit of the pirate's gold to the beak. And then I'll add a little bit of that coral color as well and blend those two right towards the tip. So I did all three of those chicks the same way. And you can keep coming back in with the, those colors and just adding more shadows if you need to. I found these markers really easy to use. I love the color palette. Um, they just really go on really smooth, very easy. Now I'm gonna grab the Pirate's Gold and the Starfish and color in all of these little flowers. So I'm just gonna use the Pirate's Gold in the center of each of those flowers. I'll use the Starfish. Just a little bit goes a long way, so I'm going to just pull that color right out to the tips of these flowers. And if you get too much color on there, you can always scribble it on your scrap paper and you can remove ink that same way as well. Here I'm just gonna dab it onto a paper towel and I'll color all the rest of those in off camera. Now with seaweed and siren, I'm gonna color in these little sprigs. So I'm starting with that lighter green. Then I'll just blend that out towards the tips 
And then I'll come in with a little bit of that darker green and just add a little shadow here. And I'll do all of those little sprigs the exact same way. So once that's all set, I'm gonna grab the coordinating dies and I'll just tape those down with a little bit of purple tape. And then I'll run those through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And you can see we have all of our little pieces die cut here. So I'm going to grab this largest die, and this is from the hexagon double stitch dies from Art Impressions. And I'll run that through my die cutting machine with some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. And with another piece of that same cardstock, I'm going to create a frame. That first panel is for our background, and this will be the frame that will go around that. So I'm going to grab the second largest die and just make sure these are lined up really well, nice and evenly spaced. And I'm going to just tape the two dies together. I'm not taping it to the paper here. I'm just taping the dies together. And that's going to create the frame that we need for the front of the card. So I'll run that through the die cutting machine. We can save that panel for another card. And now I've got this beautiful little frame here with stitching all the way around. So now I want to create a hexagon shaped card as well. So I'm going to grab that largest die and I need to figure out about how big I need to cut my cardstock. So it looks like about five inches by five inches for the card. And that'll give me plenty of room. So I'm going to cut this cardstock at five inches by 10 inches. And then we'll go ahead and score that in half right at the five inch mark. So I'm just scoring that with my bone folder. And you do want to press out that crease really well. And then I'm going to grab that largest die again. And I want to line it up towards the top of the fold. So you can see that the cut line will be above the fold. So I'm just going to move that die up slightly and there'll be a little tiny bit of space between the card and the die. And I'll show you that up close here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down really well. And I want to tape it on the outside edges so it doesn't leave any marks on the inside. And because we are going to be running this through a couple of times. So there you can see there's a little gap between the die and the top fold on the card. So I'll run this through twice just to make sure that I cut through both layers of cardstock. Now I can remove that die and we have this cute little hexagon shaped card. So that panel will go right on top and finish off the hexagon and then we'll have that frame as well. Now going back to my markers, I'll use beach, pirate's gold, coral, and starfish. And I'm going to create a background, a sky, I guess, if you will, for my uh, little chicks. So I'm going to grab this little uh, craft mat that came with my Tim Holtz mixed media mat here. I'm just going to put it in the camera so that you can see it. You could do this directly on your, on your mat as well, but I wanted you to be able to see the colors. So I grabbed the starfish, then the coral, then the pirate's gold. I'm just squeezing the barrel here just to get a little bit more ink out of there. And then I'll go to the beach. And I'm just, I'm not overlapping the colors. I'm just adding these colors because we're going to be spritzing this with a little bit of water from the Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer. And I'm going to put this right down on this ink and just press it out. And I'm just going to let those ink colors kind of blend together there. So, so just leave it there for a second or two. And then I'll just pick it up and blend out just that little bottom section. And I love the way that came out. So I'm not going to fuss with it. If you didn't like it, you could certainly put it back down into the ink again. And pick up some more color. There's still plenty of color left on the mat there. So then I'll just heat set that very quickly. And then I'm going to grab the Happy Birthday from the Baby Critter set. And I've done another card with that set, which I will link to below for you as well. So now I've got that happy birthday sentiment 
just going to position that up towards the top here and center it. I'll go back to the VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I'll stamp this a couple of times. So now I'll grab my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and I can go ahead and attach this panel to the front of my card. So I want to make sure I have some glue right up to the top edge of the card there and plenty of glue all over. And I'm going to line this up and I'll use my We Are Memory Keepers bone folder just to press that down. Just to make sure I smooth out all that glue. Now we've got the frame, we're going to pop that up. So I'm grabbing some scotch foam mounting tape and I'm just going to cut some narrow strips of this and place this all the way around this frame. Then I'll remove the backing and I'll go ahead and attach that to the card. Again, just lining everything up here. Now we can go ahead and add our three little chicks. And I did want to uh, pop them up a little bit, but first I'm going to add a little bit of some white gel pen from my Uniball Signo white gel pen. And I'm adding three little dots to each of the cheeks here. And that'll just make these little chicks just a little bit more whimsical. So now I can go back to the Scotch foam mounting tape and just kind of figure out where I want to position these here. And I want them to be level with that frame. So again, I'm going to use that tape and I want to place a little bit towards one side here and then I'll place glue on the other side where it rests on that frame. So I'll go ahead and do that for these other two chicks as well. And for this one, I'm just going to put the tape right on the card. I just thought it was easier to figure out where that tape needed to be. Then I'll add a little glue to each side of the chick here. So now I can grab the little flowers and I'm going to put a flower on each of those little corners up at the top of the card here and also the little sprig. So I'm going to put a little sprig on each side of, of the flowers. And then I'll put the flower right in the center. And again, I'll do that for those four corners up at the top. And then for this last one, for this fifth flower, I'm just going to add a couple little sprigs to the side of it. And then I'm going to place that right underneath the happy birthday. And then I'll use the Nouveau Jewel Drops. This is the orange marmalade. And this is going to give it just kind of a translucent orange color in the center of those flowers. I know we already colored them in, but I'm just going to add a little bit more dimension here with the Nouveau Drops. And then I'll use that same color on the beaks on these little chicks. So here we have our completed card. I just love the fun shape of this card and I had an extra flower left over which you could use on the inside of the card. It, when you add your sentiment on the inside it would be cute in there or on the envelope as well. So here's a closer look at that pretty background that we created and these inks I found very simple to use. 
really beautiful colors. And here I did a little bit lighter tones with my background. So I didn't add as much of that starfish color. And I got a little softer background. So play around with your colors and have some fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.